Ladies Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for tonight's main event. 12 rounds, middleweights going at it between Winky Wright and Corey Spinks. Winky Wright's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Corey Spinks is making his way to the ring right now. Puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against the guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? Well, I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Gets rid of that effort. Good counter punch by Corey. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Halfway through round number one. Oh, shit. I'm switching my stance. Able to show you his blocking ability. <laughs> Blocks that belt line well. Not an accurate hook at all. Winky right with a block punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Winky Wright. Shit, freeze. God damn it. Oh, nice. Relaxed. Here we go. Round two is underway. Spinks has always had good defense, able to block that. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Way to block there. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Corey Spinks. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Showing you some defense there with the block. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity, where we have a Mexican-style fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American-style fighter? Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Aggressive people, aggressive style. Very thoughtful people, people that are very cerebral, well, you're going to have a defensive style. You're going to have a very careful style. It's going to fit right in. Final 10 seconds. Yeah. Winky Wright.
fights going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing, and that is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count, but just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working the body one moment, and... That's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter. A guy that understands the sweet science. A good block. to the halfway point of this third round. Way to block there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that. Ooh, oh, shit. that's got to hurt. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his Bitch. legs look at all right now. I was stunned like that, motherfucker. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. You heard him. Keep working the body. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Nice block. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. A good block. As I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Winky Wright. 
positive. Well, he's just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it controls your defense. Keeps a guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. Spinks has always had good defense, able to block that. Gets rid of that body shot. Sphinx blocks that punch. Keep working the jab. <laughs> oh! Winky right nailed by a counter punch. Keep moving, keep moving, move, 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 keep moving around the ring. Ten seconds to go in this round. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Counter punch lands from Corey Spinks. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. Joe, this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. Sphinx is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. <laughs> Halfway through round six. Ooh. Spinks with a block. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Winky Wright's hurt from that. Keeps his hands up defensively. Wow! Corey Spinks has been stunned. Well, the end of the round is upon us. And oh boy, we need to catch our breath ourselves. Now these guys are not shy about introducing themselves. They came right out at the beginning. They said hello with punches, punches and punches. Great exchanges we've seen so far. a big right hand after eating one himself. Sphinx is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Blocks the headshot. This is why we 
love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Good way to protect the midsection. Just missed with that punch. Corey Spinks is making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. Oh, and there you go. Corey Spinks is in a bad begin. place right now. He was tagged. Yeah, Teddy, making round. predictions in boxing is that's often a dangerous round. task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Strike after catching one by Corey Spinks. Good block by Winky. Corey Spinks has got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Beat him to the punch. <laughs> Spinks' oh. defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. <laughs> nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Wright's going with a very efficient work rate in that last round. He chose his spots carefully, Teddy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And that's what the judges are supposed to be looking for. You know, not just being overtaken by a guy just going out there like a mad hatter and just throwing punches, but placing the punches, strategically putting them in the right spots. Good job. Sphinx has always had good defense, able to block that. Good Damn. counter punch by Corey. You always say punchers are born, Teddy. But what about a guy's ability to withstand big punches? What about a guy's chin? You know, that's an interesting point. Part of it is physical, and you know what it is? It's the neck. That's the shock absorber, but most of it's mental. You have to want to take the punches. You have to will yourself through the punches. This guy has some will. Binks with a block. 90 seconds into the ninth round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Was just off the mark. 
Corey Spinks is not showing us that he understands just how effective he can be if he went downstairs against his opponent. Yeah, well, you know what you're saying, Joe? You're taking a peek and you're taking a swipe without meaning at his trainers because what he's telling you is he hasn't been taught some of the rudiments of boxing. That when you hurt a guy, you should go downstairs to finish him. Oh. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. to get away from those punches. <laughs> Counter punch lands from Corey Spinks. It's hard to believe that he can win this fight on the scorecards. That means it's do or die at this point. You gotta go for broke. Yeah, that means that you gotta come up with that Hail Mary pass. Now, when you come up with that Hail Mary pass, you don't just chuck the ball. You have to have a receiver down there. You have to make sure that he's running a certain route. Right now, he's gotta look for one spot. Something to land that shot. Nice block. Blocks away that head shot. Keep working the body. the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Winky Wright's going with a quality that I think is very underrated in boxing, and that is to be judicious, to really think about when, how, and make the most of each thing you're doing. His punch rate, very, very effective in terms of his percentage landed. Yeah, he's throwing educated punches. You know, he's not wasting anything. He's making everything count, but... Just as importantly, everything's leading to something else. You know, he's working the body one moment, and that's leading up to some head attack later on. So he's planning everything out like a smart fighter, a guy that understands the sweet science. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. wasn't able to land. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Corey Spinks. Keep your head moving. Oh, and there you go. Corey Spinks is stunned and staggered. Oh, End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, 
What do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Corey Spinks. <laughs> Just a minute and a half left in the fight. Not able to land the uppercut. Final minute of the final round. left hand keep moving keep moving move 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 keep moving around the ring side to side move your head dismisses his opponent's headshot and they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round well that wraps it up now, let's send it up to our Ladies ring announcer for the decision. He was stunning the shit out of me. Oh, Let's fucking go. Man, thank you, baby. Winky writes your winner by unanimous decision tonight. I'm not so sure it was unanimous. I had it a little bit close. I had a split decision, but had the same man winning. All three judges in agreement Let's here go, ringside. Baby. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.